The city of Raleigh plans to hire private security to curb crime in downtown. This is where they're going to be stationed along Wilmington Street here and then a square area that goes along Blunt Street patrolling Market Plaza, Exchange Plaza as well, not far from Moore Square. Data shows this area has seen a 60% jump in crime in the past year and just last night someone was stabbed in the area. With more than 90 vacancies in the Raleigh Police Department, this the city decided it had to do something. WRL's Chelsea Donovan joins us now live in Chelsea. You dug into this plan and heard from businesses in this area. Deborah, this area here is what the mayor calls a hot spot for crime, and she attributes that to an increase in drug use, loitering, as well as an increase in the number of unsheltered individuals. As you heard, there was a stabbing here last night. That's only the tip of the iceberg. This security team will not be armed. They won't make arrests, but the hope from the city and the downtown business alliance is they can deter crime or respond to it quicker. The Green Monkey is a new addition on Wilmington Street. Folks, come on down and check us out. Rusty Patton recently moved his queer safe space here from Hillsborough Street. His shop is now feet away from the Go Raleigh bus station. There's a lot of drug use. While it's been smooth sailing for the most part, he's noticed some unwelcome activity, much like Raleigh's mayor. I witnessed with my own eyes a drug deal take place. I mean, we have kids running through restaurants, stealing tip jars harassing staff, which is why the city is now bolstering their security efforts in the blocks around the bus station, adding in more than just Raleigh police and Raleigh ambassadors. This gives us the ability to cover the entire city, but beef up coverage in some hot spots where we need it. The city and the downtown Raleigh Business Alliance currently have two bids out to hire on a private security firm that will saturate this area. They add uh, you know, a sort of quickness to that response by being able to immediately see something. The other thing is the hope is it just deters. Data we uncovered showed an enormous spike in crime in the areas where private security would patrol. There have been a total of 381 crimes reported in the past eight months, an increase of 60% over the same span of the same time last year. There have been 44 reports of drugs by Raleigh police in August of this year, only eight reports of drugs last year. While some crime may be up, business owners like Patton are elated the city is being proactive in its approach. All the business businesses on Wilmington Street, we want to, lack of a better word here, take our street back. Because this has got, Wilmington Street and downtown Raleigh has got so much potential. Now, we asked the city how much this new private security would cost. They didn't have those answers today, but both the Raleigh Business Alliance and the mayor said they hope to have this new plan in place by the end of the month. Chelsea, can the private security arrest people? No arrests. They can't make any arrests and they're not armed. The goal is that they can alert PD a little bit quicker and respond quicker with eyes and ears here on the ground. Chelsea Donovan, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Chelsea.